lecture six size enlargement size enlargement refers to the production of portions of matter having sizes greater than that of the component particles we enlarge the size the objectives number one reduction of surface area of dust forming substance a reduction of surface area of hygroscopic substance that needs water thus minimize water absorption which would cause lumping and caking of fine particles three reduction of surface area leads to retardation of reaction rate and enhance product stability four preparation of material having good flow properties i.e. the material will be free flowable uh, and this is required for tablet making approaches for size enlargement uh, number one may be by granulation dry or wet uh, number two compression tableting number three coating each of these techniques is carried out in order to facilitate further processing number one granulation Granulation is a process of collecting particles together by creating bonds between them. Bonds are formed by compression, a dry by dry technique, or by using a binding agent binding solution by wet technique. Pharmaceutical granules typically have size range between 0.2 and 4 uh, millimeter, depending on their subsequent use. Reasons for granulation. Why we made granulation? Uh, granulation is closely associated with the preparation of compressed tablet. Uh, we, we can make tablet by granules, not by powder. Powders usually can't easily be compressed into tablet and have to, made, uh, to be made into granules because powder don't flow uniformly. Uh, powder facilitate air trapping, cause the tablet to cap or explode. Powders with different shapes, density, size tend to segregate, leading to weight variation between uh, every tablet. Uh, the main process used in for granulation are wet granulation by binding solution, like mechanical wet granulation or granulation by fusion or spray granulation or granulation by extrusion, dry granulation by slugging or roller compaction. Wet granulation, mechanical wet granulation, by adding a liquid binder to fine to, to fine powder or a mixture of fine powders and mixing them until a paste is obtained. Then the paste is granulated by forcing it through a screen or a sieve. This uh, then transfer by trays to be dried. Uh, examples for an equipment to be used in uh, wet granulation like the oscillating granulator. Uh, oscillating granulator or mechanical wet granulation consists of a container the base is a cursed sieve or a screen uh, there is a ribbon or arm uh, to push the, the paste against the screen to have granules of the known size like this Granulation by fusion, this means a uh, method is used for in the preparation of granular effervescent salts or effervescent granules when a mixture of sodium bicarb and citric acid and tartaric acid heated, the citric acid hydrous releases its water of crystallization of crystal lattice, which causes adhesion of the particles of the solid. The resulting coherent mass is spread through a sieve uh, of, uh, of known size to uh, obtain uh, granules of known size. The granules is then dried to remove the remainder of water of crystallization. A spray granulation by fluidized bed granulator. The feed powder is introduced into a chamber, then fluidized is suspended in air by uh, warm air. The granulating liquid is sprayed over the powder to collect uh, some of this powder. Together, agglomerates are, are, uh, are formed, then simultaneously dried. The dry granules are discharged from an outlet at the bottom of the fluidizing section. Spray granulation uh, is controlled by moisture content of the bed. Too high moisture will, uh, will defluidize the bed. Too low, too low moisture, no agglomeration will occur and no granules will be formed. Uh, advantage of fluidized bed granulator. Fluidized bed granulator has many advantage. Uh, 
uh, all all in one uh, all the granulation processes are performed in one unit uh, saving uh, labor cost transfer losses and time the process can be automated but the disadvantage is uh, he is uh, it is very expensive and needs optimization of the process Wet granulation, uh, the disadvantage of wet granulation, not applicable for materials that are affected by moisture or heat, time consuming, dissolved material can migrate to the upper surface of the bed of granules, cause mottling. Dry granulation is recommended for handling, handling materials that are sensitive to heat or moisture. Uh, the material is uh, in a fine powder is first aggregated by compression use heavy duty tablet press known as slugging machine to form large flat tablets called slugs then the, 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 the slugs can be used of me uh, we, we can use it uh, make it by chelsinator also chelsinator is a heavy duty tablet it is an update from the slugging machine the slugs or sheets are then broken up into the required granular size in a suitable milling machine size reduction advantage Dry granulation is recommended for handling materials that are sensitive to heat and moisture. Disadvantage is the method, however, subject to the drug to compression twice, which may affect its stability. Dry granulation, the sluggers, the slugger, a dry powder can be compressed using a conventional tablet machine or a large heavy duty rotary brace can be used. Uh, this uh, the process is known as the slugging the compact ma uh, made in the process typically uh, 25 millimeter diameter uh, uh, a hammer mill is suitable for breaking the compacts to suitable size granules roller compactor or chelsinator it consists of a pair of rolls which rotate towards each other. The material is fed in between two rolls at a, at a controlled rate and the pressure between the rolls is also regulated. This is a tracinator. Uh, number two, compression of tablets. This will be lecture uh, seven.